What are you using there, Maddie? Super minnow. <laughs> My scrap bag. <laughs> scrap bag of super minnows. Today we're Super minnow fishing for jumbo perch. This is my buddy Matt from Outdoor Junkies. He's absolutely obsessed with fishing with me, I know. Who's in my last video too? Yeah, in my boat, and I'm obsessed <laughs> with fishing with him. Yeah, yeah. We're in his boat, in his high, his snowmobile, and he's obsessed with fishing with me, this guy. <laughs> but enjoy the video. We're gonna be using Matt's baits here, hopefully crushing some giant perch for you. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. This is the bait I'm using. Gold jig head and UV white. Let's give her a drop. You guys need to know we're only gonna be out here for like an hour recording because I've only brought one camera for, or one battery for each camera. So basically gonna go from fish catching to video's over. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> I think I snagged them. You think so? Yeah, I like jigged and hooked something. That's heavy though. Yeah. Oh, he ate it. Yeah, under the chin. Under the chin. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Pink white, get it done. Pink is always a good color for anything. Gotta be the weirdest color too, because what fish is pink, you know? Yeah, makes no sense. Where does pink exist in nature, really? Butterflies? <laughs> Birds? Yeah. Flamingos? Oh, that's a big one. Good fish? I think so. Let's see on the Let's see. Definitely feels oh, like yeah. my heaviest one yet. Whammo! Yeah. Oh, got your line. line. See this? He's sabotaging me. Yeah. This one's been caught before. Are you? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, All right, no fish survive out there. They get caught, they're done. But that guy's bait is huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. There's no way it was caught in my village. Yeah. All right. It's a nice one. Another perfect keeper. Check it out. Ammo. Perfect eater size. <clears throat> the pooper minnow. That's a good one. Yeah. Better bite anyway. Should be. Oh yeah. That's a real one. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, what is that? No bite, but all weight. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is insane, though. That little bit of blue in there, whatever it does. Makes all the difference, eh? Seems to. Today, anyways, you can use Another beauty. thing with the panfish, like one color's hot one day, right? And tomorrow it's usually. Yeah. Is it turning blue though? Could be turning blue. Oh yeah, very. Very, you should make some swim baits like that. Already done. My best uh, smallie swim bait for a long time was like that, the Shadalicious Blue Gizzard. They're like white looking, but then they have a blue shimmer to them. Oh, this one got on the fall. Is it big or small? On the fall. Wow. <laughs> Another big jumbie. Double. Oh, you lost them? Oh, you got them. Look at the difference in size between these two fish. Look at this. So this is like a seven incher. <laughs> and that's like a 13. I think I could eat yours? Probably. Do you want to keep that guy? Give her. Nice fish, good handful. The live ball getting milky, man. Is it? Looks like it. Yummy. Big one. Oh. Not too bad. So it wasn't a 
wasn't like this. No, no dinks? Like the odd one, for sure. But like five yeah. good ones for one bad one. Right? Yeah. We might just have to bump over a bit. Find a fresh rule, you know? Yep. I come from the rock. They're gone. They did, man. They just dipped out. Like, pretty random. Pretty rude. Here, real. I'm going to take us off spot lock. I'll just drift for a second. Yep. So the fish have left the sonar. We got nothing on the screen. It's windy. We're just going to turn off spot lock and let us drift for a second until we start marking them again. That's all you got to do. Just got to be on them perch fishing. That's the biggest ticket. On them can be a matter of five feet that way. Yeah. Here. Lights really I can't say I've ever like been out here crushing fish or out anywhere crushing fish and then call my friend up and say like you got to come out here let's go go and pick them up and then come back out and have it be just as good. Never. It's never the same. Like as soon as you leave the spot you leave a feeding frenzy it's over. It was really good this morning like the first half hour I was here was kind of like this and then all of a sudden it just got crazy for like an hour you know. Yeah. Big after big after big eh? Yeah and it was just constant of like our biggest one so far but it was cool because it was right when oh, they're back through lures <laughs> like through colors yeah i went through every single color and every time i switch color i'm getting a monster maybe that's the key to keep switching colors constantly could be that color man they love that color. that color that's freaking unique yeah it turns so blue in the water i think i guess that's it i don't know Oh, in the gill. I, got that kind of I guess that one doesn't count. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> that one doesn't count. <laughs> Ooh, nibble. Oh, one had it on the fall there. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah. Feels like a keeper anyway. Oh. Not bad. Look at that guy. Nice fish. Not bad, not bad. The Superman always so uh, photogenic, you know? Yeah. Always just hanging right at the corner. Yeah. <laughs> you see it so well. Looks stage. <laughs> oh, not that good, eh? Seemed like it was heavy, but... It looked good in the beginning. Yeah. That rod's so sensitive, though. Yeah. Soft little rod. I don't know if you guys caught that either. I was telling you before, but the camera wasn't even on that today's like the day after the fall summer we just had. It was 30 degrees yesterday and today's like seven degrees. Windy, cold, rain last night, but the fish are still biting. If you're wondering, we're in like 20, 23 feet of water too. So we're not fishing shallow just yet. Seems to be a bit early for that. Oh, that feels like a good one. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It's a big bite. Oh, yeah. That's a good bite. Yay or nay? It's kind of cool. Yeah? I've thrown back bigger ones. Yeah. Snagged. Is that even a fish? Yeah. No. He thought he was hooked on bottom perch fishing. How big is it? <laughs> it's so small. Yeah. <laughs> Told you I snagged them. Oh, I picked you up, eh? See that? Looks like it does. Think it? so? Pretty big mark. Yeah. I don't know if it actually was or not, but it looked that way for sure. Something happened. Such a crazy contrast from yesterday. Like, literally, could have been out here in shorts and a t shirt. Yeah, I was. I and yeah, exactly. And today my hands are like getting cold. There'll be a lot more perch videos coming in the next few weeks, so don't you worry.
This is just uh, to hold you over till the weather gets nice again. Oh, big one, big one. <laughs> At least, at least six inches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, man, that's a good thing. It's actually not bad. It's awesome. We're yep. going to be bailing soon. Yep. You see that weather? We're going to start settling for nine inches here. Yeah. It's getting a little desperate. We got some rain. I think you can see it, actually. We got some rain coming over the front of the boat. It's freaking cold out here, so we don't want to get caught in that. Oh, I've got a bunch of fish between me and me getting back to. Yeah. <laughs> I think the storm's shutting them down. Could be actually. Yeah. The bite's definitely getting weird with this weather approaching. Oh, they're just a little slow, eh? Getting lazier. Is that a keeper? Not quite making the cut, but still loving the pearl. You getting bites here, not really? No. Keep looking. Yep. We're running out of time here. We're running out of time. Storm's approaching. Fish aren't biting. We gotta try and find the good pot of them. Let's go, Matt. <laughs> $150 entry and there's probably 20 boats, 15, 20 boats. Like yeah. I'd do it if I knew that side of the lake better. If the weather was good, I'd do it and run to Innisville. Oh, double! Whoa! Ho, ho. Nice one. Oh, look at that one. I got Barely one any stripes on them. Green barless bass. <laughs> Show the people that one. That's kind of unique. Yeah, if I can get them. Look at that one. The no stripers. No stripes. Send in mine, I don't Send in mine. I've been seeing a lot of those fish lately. Put in the comments what you think it is. Is it a deficiency? Are they having an identity crisis? Maybe they just haven't earned their stripes yet. That one didn't even make it to the bottom. <laughs> oh, they haven't earned their stripes yet. <laughs> Matt, wow. Funny guy. Don't even have a kid. He's coming out with a dad joke. Whoa! Big in! Big tail. Like, look at this thing. I'm assuming that's a male because that is skinny mini. Well, not super skinny, but it's just not loaded. Spawned like out, buddy. Eggs. It's not spawned, spawned out, out either. No, no, man. But nice, nice fish. In the box. Big one? Yeah, he pushed it up like a big one, but I don't think he is. No, I got something very small. Nice. Those very exciting. Like, uh, Lake St. Clair keepers. Lake St. Clair keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lake St. Clair. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good joke, man. It hasn't earned his stripes yet. <laughs> this guy should have his own YouTube channel, shouldn't he? That looks all right. That looks good, yeah. I had a decent bite too right before that. Ooh, he's There's fighting. school down there. Oh, yeah. Nice That's one. Far. Get in here. Ooh. Nice. Tank. Another tank in the bank. Hey, 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 hey. That's a big one. Nice one. Should we tape measure him? Tape measure him. See who he is. 11. 11 and a half. 11 and a half? 11 and a half. You've definitely got some bigger ones than that guy. Yeah. In the box. Can't believe the cast moved. It just isn't it today. Oh, I'd like to say that. Oh boy. I don't even want to Small. touch this one. It's going to be too cold. I didn't touch it. Gear set up today, very dialed in. 25 pound, 30 pound braid, 15 pound mono. Really? Size down for these guys today. Really? 
Yeah, that's Matt's using lake trout gear for perch today. Just to kind of tell you, you don't really need to have all this fancy gear to do this. Yeah, man. Cold water crap. You know, oh, yeah. That's a big fish. Yep. Big one, I think. Moby Dong. Yeah, that's a bing. Big male, I guess. Another big male. Crazy. They're loving the pearl. Gonna have to make more of those things. Yep. I would drop that, drop shot that for bass. Yeah. Yeah. Especially out here in the fall, they love that thing. Oh, what is this? What is all this? Everywhere. What is that? Another big fish. Unless I snagged them. Probably a good one. Oh, bigger than the last. Nice. Ah, oh, that's gross. What are these guys any manners? I don't come to your house and do that. What is it? <laughs> oh, the fish are jizzing on you? Yeah. Another chunky. Gosh darn it all. Oh, my on. I was. Chicken cordon blew it, man. So big reason why we're filming this video today is to tell you guys that we're offering perch trips for the next couple of weeks before the lake trout and pike and whitefish season gets going. So for the next few, few weeks, if you want to come out and catch some jumbo perch with me or Matt, give Matt a call at 705-345-4888. Uh, Outdoor Junkies Guide Service, or you can give me a call at Happy Go Fishing, 905-806-0443. What a nice guy. Yeah. You can always putt 20 feet that way. Let's do it, let's do it. Maybe there's a really yep. big one that's waiting on us. Yep. I'll show you guys, we're doing another little move, but this is our box here. Lots of really nice big fish in here. are always asking all the time how to clean the fish that they're catching. Yeah. And then they go Oh, on big one. Other video and it's bad. Yeah. They get bad information. Really? Yes. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Off the side of the boat because he's so heavy. Yeah, man. 100%. That needs to happen. Another good one. Oh, I want to go out to Simcoe, but I can't really go on my own very well. It's kind of tricky. Why? It'd be hard to launch. Because they got oh. the freaking, you know, the right side of the launch? Yeah. That's all they have open. The shitty side on yeah. Smith's Bay? Yeah. What? Yeah, and then they have, like, no parking. Like, all the parking spots are piloned in. I was just going to move the pylons, but... Yeah. I don't know why they got to screw us, man. Everywhere else is so pro fishing, like the states, uh, even down south in Canada. Yeah. Like or even north of us, yeah. Gravenhurst, Bracebridge, they're all welcoming to tourism. Except for here. Yeah. We're lake really Simcoe, the largest private lake in the world. Let's you know? bail. Screw it. Yeah. Okay, y'all, we're going home. But uh, that was an absolutely awesome day fishing. Thanks for taking me out, Matt. And if you guys really like crappy fishing, check out this video right here where I got a three pounder. My personal best is absolute giant. Craziest day crappy fishing I've ever had. Check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.